All right, it's day eight, change of plan. Headache when I came down from the peak yesterday and woke up with a bit of a dodgy stomach. So, late morning, feeling better now, but not going to go all the way to Labuche, which is, I think, 4,900 meters. We're just gonna go from 4,400 to 4,600. I was toying with the idea of just having another day here, but it would make sense just to move a little bit, not increase the altitude that much, and then have an extra day. I think that's the luxury of having um, a bit of a flexible itinerary. Don't need to push it, and certainly don't want to get to base camp or Kalapatar and just be there but feel a bit shit. Um, I'd rather take my time and feel better. That's the plan anyway. So only a couple of hours might be able to explore a lake. Feeling much better than I did this morning. I was feeling pretty, uh, I wasn't feeling terrible, I was just a bit dodgy, which is never fun. I know it's a job and it would make the experience a little easier, but I don't know, there's something weird about having somebody lug three people's kit on his back. At least get three porters, just one for each bag instead of just overloading them. That is a lot of kit. I don't know. Who am I to judge? Feeling better now. Feeling a lot better. I think I'll still stop in Tokla, Tongla, Tokla, because I had the time. I feel like I could go up to uh, Labuche, but it's nice to take your time. I love this sort of rock glacier that's coming off uh, Choletse and Labuche. <clears throat> It's like the mountains, <coughs> sorry, it's windy, <coughs> windy and dusty. It's like the mountains are snakes like shedding their skin over, I don't know, what I can only imagine is millennia. And the rocks are just pushing their way down into the valley. It's really impressive. If you're into that sort of stuff, I might be the only one that finds that interesting. <laughs> real ankle breaking territory. Let's find the way through the frozen river. Semi frozen. A fairly makeshift bridge, but a bridge nonetheless. This is us. I feel really good. Maybe have lunch, wait an hour or two, see how I feel. At the moment, I want to carry on to Labuche. Who knows, maybe I'm so hypoxic that I don't realize that I'm buggered. <laughs> I don't think so. We used a pulse oximeter, the one of the finger things earlier, and I was at nearly 90%, so I'm no doctor, but 
Ganesh! <laughs> I really like this uh, river mouth, uh, river mouth? Maybe I am hypoxic. Um, <laughs> river bed. Something a little bit different. Uh, be careful, I do not want to sprain an ankle. That would be stupid. So the call has been made, we're staying here today. And so we're gonna go and check out the, the lake that we saw from the viewpoint yesterday. Frozen Lake. You can see it better here the rock glacier as I called it earlier. I think it's called a scree slope. You can see the mountain just turning into this rock rubble. Um, and you can see it better on Amadablam. It looks like the mountain's just disintegrating into this slope. I'll get a shot with the big camera, but it's, uh, it almost looks fake. It looks like the mountain's just turning into dust. This is one of the better views we've had. Apparently, as you're climbing up to Lobuche, it gets even better. But that will be tomorrow. Rock Glacier, Scree Slope. Stupid Simon. There she is, frozen. And that's the Scree Slope. Just realised it's like those, uh, it's like those penny pusher things that you get at arcades. on a much larger scale. I don't know if you can hear that, but it's like groaning. It sounds like a lion going, ooh. Maybe it's just me, but I love this. It's so peaceful, just groaning away. I would highly, highly recommend coming here. I'm going to come here tomorrow morning when the sun's on it. It's just, look at that. What? You've got to be kidding.
under the north face of Lobuche and Cholatse. They look pretty unhospitable faces, especially Lobuche. Just making our way back to camp. I'm loving these little adventures that Ganesh and I are doing. And the Dablin base camp. Um, oh, Cholotso Lake? I have to find out what the name of that lake is, but that's a hand down my favorite place so far in the whole trek. And I don't think many people go there. So spend the time and you might just uh, find places that you really enjoy. Might not be for everybody, but oh, my face is cold, hard to talk. Might not be for everybody, but I mean, I think you'd be hard pressed not to like that scenario. Frozen lake beneath the north faces of tomb and their 6,000 meter peaks. Very good. It is colder here. It was about, I thought it was five o'clock, but it was like three o'clock because thanks to these two mountains, they block the sun immediately. And you can see, well, it's too late now, but all the sun that Dingbotje gets later in the afternoon, you don't get here. So another day done. The lake was great. I would, I think Ganesh is going to start to recommend people tack that onto their trip. It was, I'd say it's my favorite place so far. There was something really quite nice about it. Oh, it's getting cold now. Right, time to head in.